Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is to deal with something that I hear all the time and that uh, is kind of a, let's let's call it a little bit a myth versus reality video. So a lot of people are in the impression that Windows 10 because it adds features here and there because it changes things here and there that you know Windows 10 is bloated and it is big and that it, it it's sluggish and it doesn't uh, you know, it's, it's not as good as Windows 7 in performance. When in reality, most of the tests done show that it is at least as good, if not better, than Windows 7 in most of its performance. Because a number of improvements have been actually done under a hood. One of them is the usage of RAM memory. A lot of people, and there's still that old thinking that the more RAM your computer uses, the the worst you know it will perform and and it's not good because it doesn't uh, it's not a good idea to use as much memory and it's the other way around you want to have as much memory used you don't want to have all of it free it serves no purpose when it's free you want to have Windows using it and the way that Windows 10 is using it it's actually a great way and much more efficient way than Windows 7 ever was in using memory. Also, a lot of people think that, uh, well, you know, the latest versions are really heavy and full of bugs. Actually, when you look at the statistics and the background noise, what we see is that when we went to version 2004 last year, the first version of 2020, that was a big feature update. The background noise, when there's a huge feature update, always goes up a little. There's a little more people having problems when we are actually going through a big feature update that takes a lot of time to install which kind of means that maybe a little more people are having problems upgrade but that isn't true of the other updates afterwards because after that we've had the October update which was a small cumulative update it actually was just um, a small service pack if you want like Windows 7 era times 21H1 right now is going to be the same thing. It's going to be and is a small service pack again. And what we see in reality when we look at the October 2020 update update and the 21H1 update coming this month is that in reality the background noise, the people having problems are actually way down. And the reason why is very simple. Instead of, you know, packing tons of features and new things, they're really not packing anything new or almost nothing new. And they're actually working much more on the system and the core of the system itself in stability. So version 20H2 and version 21H1 coming up soon are actually great improvements to the Windows 10 operating system. And the fact that they are not big, pack of features that are updated on Windows 10 and take an enormous, enormous amount of time to install, actually the um, Windows 10 operating system is actually very stable. In reality, when I see a lot of people complaining or I see tons of people coming here on the channel saying, well, you know, 20H2 is so bad. It's not. It's actually very good and much better than the, um, than the first version 2004. 21H1, for what I see, is pretty much the same for everybody. It's a very good update. So these are small updates, and actually, there is no glitches. And when I see people posting, well, you know, wow, I hear there's tons of problems with uh, these new versions. There isn't. They work fine, and they work great, and they work great for the majority, big majority of people running them. So um, if that is a case for you, you have something particular to your system that is creating that. And it could be a bad driver. It could be that your system has some software that you shouldn't have installed that's creating problems. Uh, you know, the, I always say it, 99% of all problems in Windows are not Windows related. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.